So we're in Psalm 102 of the NWT. This is the 1984 edition. That's why the Bible looks so big. You can use the 2013. I mean, it makes no difference. Uh, so we're going to start in verse 20. Uh, let's start at verse 19. Let's start at verse 19. It says, For he has looked down from his holy height. Well, who's a he? Let's see. From the very heavens, Jehovah himself has looked even at the earth. Jehovah himself. So who is the psalmist speaking of? He's speaking of Jehovah God. To hear the sighing of the prisoner, to loosen those appointed to death, for the name of Jehovah to be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the people are collected all together and the kingdoms to serve Jehovah, on the way he afflicted my power, he cut short my days, I proceeded to say, O oh my God, do not take me off at the half of my days. Your years are throughout all generations. Okay, so verse 25 and on, let's pay attention to these couple verses. This is our focus. Long ago, you laid the foundations of the earth itself. And the heavens are the work of your hands. They themselves will perish, but you yourself will keep standing. And just like a garment, they will all of them wear out. Just like clothing, you will replace them and they will finish their turn. But you are the same and your own years will not be completed. Now, Look, this is just my honest opinion. The way they, the way the new, I get a headache reading the New World Translation. It's just, it's just the English that they, that that they decide to use is just so strange. Okay, so look, look, let's read verse twenty-seven. It says, "But you are the same, and your own years will not be completed." Okay, let's see how the King James, which is hundreds of years old, let's see how the King James reads in verse twenty-seven. Okay, same, same passage, verse 27. Okay. But thou art the same, and thy years shall have no end. Okay. But thou art the same, and thy years shall have no end. Okay. That your years will have no end. But look at how they render it. But you are the same, and your own years will not be... Well, obviously, it's his years. It's speaking of him. Your own years will not be completed. Who speaks like that? But anyways, that's a side point. But you get the point. Okay, let's go back. We'll start at verse 25. It says, "Long." The, let's see what the passage is saying. It's saying, long ago, you laid the foundation of the earth itself. So it's speaking to Jehovah God in the singular, saying that he is the creator because he laid the, the, the earth itself. When you read the book of Isaiah and, you know, even the book of Job, you'll see that God was alone in creation. Right? It was him by himself. There was no one else. It was just Jehovah God. Speaking of the singular, right? Okay. And verse 26, or uh, continuing, continuing verse 25, it says, And the heavens are the work of your hands. See, the heavens are the work of your hands. It's speaking in the singular, speaking of Jehovah God, right? And up until this point, Jehovah's Witnesses will agree with this. Verse 26, it says, They themselves will perish, but you yourself will keep standing. And just like a garment, they will all of them wear out. Just like clothing, you will replace them and they will finish their turn. But you are the same and your own years will not be completed. Now, what is uh, verse 26 and 27 trying to convey? Well, it's simple. It's trying to convey that God is eternal and creation is not. That at one time, all of creation will, will, will vanish, will have its vanishing. Uh... You know, and when you read the book of Revelation, you see that the earth is passed away, the heaven is passed away, and that behold, it's, it's a new earth and a new heaven. Everything is recreated. But everything has an expiration point. But God does not. He's eternal. Because it's saying, you are the same. Your years will never come to an end, or your your years will never be completed. Um, and so, it's trying to convey that God is eternal. And in verse 25, it's trying to, it's, it's trying to convey that God himself is the creator of the heavens and the earth, right? the heaven and the earth so this is pretty simple jehovah's witnesses will agree with this uh with this statement this passage if you ask them well i mean uh, who is this speaking of they're gonna say oh it's jehovah god 
Because Jehovah God is the creator of all things. That's what the Bible is saying. We agree with it. Now, let's go to the book of Hebrews. And we're going to be in chapter 1. Okay, um, we'll start at verse, um, verse 9. You loved righteousness and you hated lawlessness. That is why God, your God, anointed to do with the oil of exaltation more than your partners. So who is this speaking of? Well, it's clearly speaking of Jesus Christ, right? He has a God above him. Right, Jehovah's Witnesses? Right? Verse 10. And. Okay. What does this mean? The and is there. It means that verse 9 and 10 are conjunctive, meaning it's the same speaker speaking to the same person, right? Or audience, whoever. But it's the same. This is conjunctive. This is together. This is to be read together. You love righteousness and you hated lawless, lawlessness. That is why God, your God, anointed you with the oil of exaltation more than your partners. And you, at the beginning, O Lord, laid the foundations of the earth itself and the heavens are the works of your hands. Wait a minute. This is interesting because in Psalm 102 verse 25, it applies this verse to Jehovah God. But yet Jehovah God, through the writer of the Hebrews, or through, through the writer of the book of Hebrews, is applying that same text to Jesus Christ. So in the Old Testament, the psalmist is attributing verse 25 to Jehovah God. But in the book of Hebrews, Jehovah God is applying that verse to Jesus Christ. All right, let's keep reading. They themselves will perish, but you yourself, but, but you yourself are to remain continually. And just like, a, and just like an outer garment, they will all grow old. Does the inner garment grow old too? Uh, the rendering is just so strange. Anyways, uh, I'm getting off topic. It says they will all grow old. And you will wrap them up just as a cloak, as an outer garment. And they will be changed. But you are the same and your years will never run out. Wait a minute. Okay. So what do we draw from this passage? Well, in verse, in verse 10... It's saying that Jesus Christ is the creator of heaven and earth. But in the Old Testament, Jehovah God is the creator of heaven and earth. And it's in the singular, right? It's speaking directly to, that, to, to the, um, the person being addressed. Verse 11 and, 11 and 12, it's saying that Jesus Christ will, will remain. He will outlive all of creation, right? And so if he will outlive all of creation... He must be dis he must be exempt or distinguished or distinct from creation, right? That means that he's eternal. Well, the only one that's eternal is God, so that would mean that Jesus Christ would have to be God. Or there's another uh, there's another option. The Bible is in contradiction because in the Old Testament. In Psalm 102, verse 25 to 27, it's saying that Jehovah God is the creator in the singular. And Jehovah's Witnesses agree that Jesus Christ is ontologically different than Jehovah God, meaning he does not, he's a, he does not share the same nature as Jehovah God. Um, and it's saying that uh, in the Old Testament, it's saying Jehovah God is the creator. He's eternal. He will outlive all of creation. But in the New Testament, Jesus Christ is spoken of being the creator in the singular. And he's the one that's eternal. So, we have two ways to interpret the scriptures. We can either see, as the Jehovah's Witnesses, you know, see the passages as contradictory, and therefore their Bible or their their theology is wrong, or we can take the interpretation of the Trinitarian Christian, which harmonizes the two scriptures, because we believe that Jehovah God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jehovah's Witnesses do not. They believe that Jehovah God is the Father alone, and so. By their interpretation and by their doctrine, uh, we have a contradiction in the scriptures. So, 
Hope this video was edifying. Jehovah's Witnesses, if you have a rebuttal to this argument, uh, to these passages, please feel free to contact me or just uh, leave a uh, comment in the comment section and uh, hopefully we can dialogue. But until next time, God bless.